We've got a really exciting episode for you today and indeed over the next few weeks or months even. This beautiful lion that we're looking at over here has come to us all the way from Addo. Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Shamari TV. We've got a really exciting episode for you today and indeed over the next few weeks or months even. What I want to show you is this beautiful guy over here. He is a new lion that we've brought into the reserve that is going to be released on Shamari Private Game Reserve. This beautiful lion that we're looking at over here has come to us all the way from Addo. We're actually so privileged to have this lion. It's a, it's a beautiful lion. You can have a look at the condition he is. Absolutely magnificent. This area that we are sitting outside of now is known as a boma or a holding area. And it's commonly found on almost every single game reserve. It's a, it's a holding area that animals are put into uh, and it allows them to get acclimatized to the area. In him being within this environment over here for the last few weeks, he would have heard other lions roaring, he would have gotten smells from the area, um, and just a general kind of orientation. It allows him to settle down and get habituated to his new home. And you may be saying, but we've, we've seen lions already on Shamwari. Yes, we have lions here. We have a number of different prides, but we have to introduce new genetic material to the lion populations on an ongoing basis. And indeed, as much as we are introducing uh, another lion to this area, so we've taken some of our lions uh, and sent them to other game reserves. It's a very responsible way of being involved in conservation and ensuring the meta populations of lions genetics are as top notch as can be. If you have an isolated genetic pool for an extended period of time, uh, it can be bad for the population. So by bringing, for example, this new lion onto the reserve to create new genetic material, we're replicating what would have happened naturally hundreds of years ago before fences and wild populations were cut off from one another. This is replicating what would have happened. So what I am looking really forward to is tomorrow when this guy gets released, he's hopefully going to take up residence in the northern section of the game reserve and will become the new territorial dominant male up there. There is going to be some fantastic interactions over the next few weeks, I'm sure, between the lions. As this guy suddenly realizes there's a pride to take over, so it really is, we're going to be watching this guy, we'll be bringing you updates and as he is evolving on the game reserve and fitting in, we're going to be there bringing that to you. Alright guys, so as you can see, uh, what a fantastic sighting we have here. This, this male lion has just been released. Uh, he's literally uh, taking his first steps up in the north over here. You can see he had a, a, a chunk of meat placed next to him. That's so that as soon as he is out in his new area, uh, he has something that is enticing him and uh, making him pretty much comfortable. And uh, he'll be focusing on that and not thinking about just trying to uh, run and possibly be uh, a little bit bewildered by this, uh, this new environment of his. You can see he's looking around, he's smelling, he's using all of his senses, he, he knows he's out of the boma um, and it's now going to be his chance to start exploring and uh, there is going to be a scent of other lions within this area. Uh, we, we are in the pride, the core pride area of the Northern Territory uh, pride. There isn't a, a dominant male with them at the moment. So if this guy does want to establish dominance and take over the pride, there is going to be a lot of conflict of interest. We've got females with small cubs. They're going to want to protect those cubs. They're not going to take too kindly to this new male immediately. But depending on what he can offer the pride, in other words, pride stability, and obviously he will then take dominance over from them. The females will be accepting to that. And then it's, uh, it's about reintroduction of new genetic material, which ultimately is the purpose of this. This male will then breed with those females and there will be a new bloodline that is introduced into the reserve. And it's that conservation of good genetics that's so important, which is why working with national parks is uh, such a privilege and, and so great to see. We will be tracking him, we will be staying with him, and we will be uh, following his story, which is going to be really exciting. 
as I was saying yesterday, this is trying to mimic what would naturally have taken place hundreds of years ago, like I said before, fences, things uh, that humans have put in place that have restricted the natural movement of animals. If this guy was a youngster and he got kicked out of his pride, he would move into the next pride of territorial lions. They wouldn't accept him there, they would kick him on and he, and he would have to be a roaming nomadic male for, you know, from a, about the age of about two and a half, three years old, until he was old enough, big enough and strong enough to hold his own territory, which is around the five to six year period. If he had brothers or half-brothers within the pride when he was born, those young males would stick together for their entire life and form that coalition that is so important. In many instances, we've had uh, coalitions of up to four males, and they just become a force to be reckoned with. They hold a, a bigger territory for a longer period of time, and indeed they can hold multiple different prides of females. So even though this guy has just been released, you can see how natural instinct just kicks in immediately and he's taken that kill and he's actually stashed it in the bushes. Although he's feeling unsettled, he also realizes that food is a priority. He needs to be able to guard and defend that, uh, that carcass. He's not sure what's around you. If there's uh, other competition from other lions, hyenas, that type of stuff, he'll rather stash that carcass straight away so it's out of the prying eyes of other predators. What an amazing opportunity this morning to see this guy getting released. Uh, we hope it's going to be a, a long, successful road for him on the reserve. And uh, we hope that you're going to be joining us as we are out busy watching this guy and following his uh, adventures and activities. Hopefully you guys will be right there with us. So remember to give us a like, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon.